Greetings. Today is March 26th, and this is your daily COVID-19 update. ACV staff continues to try and help facilitate for the membership the implementation of guidances as given by the CDC and federal and state health officials. The State Department of Health has joined the Office of the Governor in urging all people 65 years of age and older to follow Executive Order 2083 and stay in their residences and take all measures to limit the risk of exposure to COVID-19, including, but not limited to, all contact with people outside the home and distancing any unavoidable contact by a minimum of six feet. Washing hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or using hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Avoiding unnecessary touching of eyes, nose, and mouth and washing hands prior to doing so. Also, cleaning and disinfecting often high-touch surfaces including entry doorway handles. To assist with these restrictions, in addition to the other actions that the village has taken, we are setting up a program to pick up prescriptions for those who cannot take advantage of their own pharmacy's delivery options. As this is still being organized, right now we ask only those members in ACV's residential buildings, that's Carter House, Dowling House, Smith Riverview Apartments, and Lawrence House, to call Pam Bissett at 658-5933 to give your information. Many pharmacies offer delivery service and we ask you to use that service if you can. Otherwise, call Pam and we will assist you in getting your prescriptions. If you have an emergency situation, please contact your service coordinator first. We continue to strongly encourage the membership to cancel any visits from friends and family. Executive Order 2082 requires anyone traveling to Florida from the Tri-State, which is New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, be self-quarantined for 14 days, and thus any guests from these states are forbidden from entering the campus without first following the quarantine mandate. Remember, these restrictions are put in place for everyone's protection. You may believe since you do not have any of the underlying conditions, you're not at risk and thus do not need to heed the CDC and state health official mandates. But I say, what about your neighbor and others in this community with whom you may come in contact? They may not be so healthy. Your actions can have a direct impact on them and their ability to remain safe. Lastly, at a time like this, rumors and falsehoods have a way of surfacing and spreading. They can be very hurtful and they are certainly not helpful to the situation. Please continue to show grace and understanding by not participating in sharing unsubstantiated information. As always, for information pertaining to your personal situation, please contact your service coordinator. Thank you.